Today we're heading out on the search for some camping spots along this deactivated skitter trail that's wedged between the river and the mountains above. But the day really didn't go as planned, as we ran into some issues with the trail no longer being traversable. As with all my adventures, I begin the day with letting some air out of the tires before hitting the trails. The extra few minutes it takes is always worth it in exchange for more traction and a smoother ride. My name is Tyler, welcome to Let's Get Lost. The forest floor opened up to a meadow of ferns and mossy trees. It felt very out of place on the coast of British Columbia, as typically our forests are too dense to even walk through. Trails like this that I daydream of through the work week, as they make my weekend escapes from reality so much more memorable.
tool though. Well, I'm not sure if this is the end of the trail for the day or not. Can't tell if someone's made a bypass. It has been thoroughly deactivated. We've got this trail over here. Oh yeah, I'll fit. Beautiful. Let me see where it keeps going. A bit dirty. This is as far as we can come. I went and walked the trail that kind of tucks around the back and leads over there and they've clear cut it. The trail is now gone. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. You're good. Are you petting the moss? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, they have begun falling this section of forest with the trail running straight through this fresh cut block, stopping us in our tracks. With the drone in the sky, we're able to make out the trail through the fallen trees. All up this trail, I was spotting marking tape for a cut line, so this valley is most likely going to be logged within the next year. Admitting defeat with completing this trail, we turn around with our sights set on getting to the top of the mountain behind us before dusk, in hopes of watching the sunset over the lake.
if you're enjoying this video so far, consider subscribing. I have a lot of large expeditions planned for the future of this channel that I'm super excited for, and I don't think you'll want to miss them. Alright, so I'm thinking we're gonna have to turn around and abort the mission, getting up the mountain here. The snow is getting deeper. I mean, it's not deep, but it's wet, it's slushy. So the Jeep's just kind of hopping and wanting to dig and slide around. I'm struggling a little bit. So play it safe, get Aerie home safe, myself home safe, and we won't be up here all night in the cold. So make our way back to town. It's, it's getting very cold. It looks like there's a storm at the top of the mountain and the snow is very, very slushy, so we won't get stuck. I know it really doesn't look like much snow, and it's not, but slippery conditions paired with an 18% grade was enough for me to tuck my pride away given we only had an hour of light left. On days like this, I have to remind myself that the destination is irrelevant, knowing the adventure begins when my tires leave the pavement. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and as always, I hope you take the time to get a little lost.